Hey, what's going on? Ben Kaiser here with another episode of jobsinthefuture.com coming at you with some more data jargon and today specifically machine learning. Now there's been a lot of talk uh, around the tech world about artificial intelligence, machine learning, automation, and today I'm going to define machine learning as it uh, fits within to data analytics. And one of the simple ways to understand this is when you're on Amazon.com and you click on a product, Amazon will recommend other products to you. And what it's doing is it's using an algorithm, basically machine learning, to say, okay, so this person is clicking on socks. Now, what do you need with socks? Well, you need shoes. Now, people who clicked on these specific pair of socks often bought this specific pair of shoes. So the answer is recommend this pair of shoes for a person who picks this pair of socks. Very basic uh, version of it. Now, how that's created is a programmer, specifically a data scientist, somebody with a great depth of knowledge in data analytics and big data, will go in and he will create that algorithm so that the machine knows, or the database, knows how to connect the dots, knows how to use the data in a specific way in order to make recommendations. So what will happen is as the data grows, as more decisions are made on Amazon.com, so as more people click on socks, more people buy shoes, that data will grow and the machine will learn. Now, is this machine really spying on us, learning, you know, becoming this immense superpower? Well, not exactly, but kind of. And what I mean by that is, think about it. Each time you make a decision, that data, that data set grows. And as that data set grows, the accuracy of the machine grows as well. So the machine will become smarter, in a sense. Now, think about this in, in a final um, idea you uh, can only let that machine go and learn more and more if you've been able to program it accurately. And that's what the computer programmer does, the data scientist does. He sets up the machine learning algorithm and he watches it to make sure that it makes accurate decisions. All right, so this is just a basic rundown of machine learning. If you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel, like our video, and as always, come on over to jobsinthefuture.com, learn more about data analytics uh, and data science, and jump in and get a start in the career right now. Have a good day.